Good morning! Today is Saturday and I'm having a girls DIY day. So we're going over to my friend Liz's studio. She's a photographer and she owns a photography studio. You can book it out and do your own shoots there if you want to. So I'll have a link to it in the description. If you're someone who's looking for a studio or you want to go and take some Instagram content, you can totally book that out. But today, uh, myself and three of my friends are going over to the studio and we're going to have like a girls day. We're going to go and pick up some snacks very, very soon because we want to do like a little charcuterie board and that sort of thing um, and then we're just gonna be working on some DIY projects so I have to run around right now and grab a few things I need to take with me but I'm super excited I'm gonna turn all of this into like I think Instagram or TikTok content um, but I am very very excited so let's go before I go I thought I would just show you this particular piece um, from H&M home I really like this I found a really really ugly vase that has a hole in the middle of it like that so I think I'm gonna paint it maybe black as well and it will totally have that vibe to it I'm not doing the rattan today I have not got around to putting the rattan in these window door things yet but um, yeah I'm just gonna be doing a whole bunch of like vase and sort of pot plant pot type uh, DIYs today. You may remember me showing this in one of my videos. This is a really cool shaped vase from Ikea. I think it was like $4 or something, but it's a really ugly blue. So I'm definitely gonna be painting that. Also, this is one that I thrifted. So I'm going to be taking this with me. I'm just trying to think what else in here I need to take. I think it's only these two from here that I'm gonna take. Down here in the bottom shelf, I have a lot of paints and whatnot. I did buy some new paint brushes and they're already at the store studio but I did get all of these paints from Michaels the other day so I need to take these I've got this white one a really really nice like beige kind of one and then I have these two brown ones I figured I could mix these together and maybe make sort of like a terracotta looking color I mean this is pretty terracotta-y as it is I don't think I'm going to take any of my paint brushes from here because as I said I bought some the other day so that's probably all I need out of this cupboard. I think I have all of my supplies. I've got my paint, the trowel, I've got all of these vases I want to repaint. I just want to repaint this one basically the same color and just get rid of all of these like marks that are on it. I've also got this one. This was a vase from H&M Home. Not sure how I feel about it. I love the texture. I just, I don't know if I'm going to paint it. I I can't see myself having this color scheme in my home. So I'm gonna think about that one today, but I'll take it with me anyway, just in case. And then I'm gonna take these really bright yellow little pots that are available at Loblaws at the moment. Oh no, he was sitting in water, that's bad, that's bad. These little pots are from Loblaws and they're super cute. So I got two of them and I'm going to take them and paint them like a nice neutral beige color probably because I like neutrals. So I think this is what I'm gonna take. I also have the stuff over there that I bought the other day and I have to take my phone connector I'm gonna take my little tripod my big tripod because I'm filming all of this today as well making like this video and also um, like some Instagram TikTok content that I was talking about before as well excuse the mess on my couch but one other thing I think I'm gonna take is my laptop because if this memory card gets full I just want to make sure I can offload it onto my computer and then keep being able to film because that would be a disaster if I ran out of memory card space Okay, I've got everything, let's go. Welcome to the studio. So we have this beautiful setup here that's like a desk setup. Up here is like a little bedroom, just super cute. I love this little rattan table. You thrifted this, didn't you? The rattan table? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so cool. Very cool find. A little mirror, hello. And then back down here, there's like this section and then this amazing purple couch. This other mirror that's really fabulous. Um, and then there's this section over here. This is the chair that I have in my living room. Liz got it first, and then I was like, I have to get it too. <laughs> and then there's this amazing little um, corner over here with like some cushions and 
and things and we've just popped the plant here just to give it a little bit of light because I think it was kind of dying over in the back but yeah so this is the studio and then there's also a beautiful kitchen as well and yeah we're gonna get in and do some DIYs today I've uh, made a pile of all of the stuff that I plan to paint today there's quite a few things these two are pots from Loblaws I'm still unsure about this um, vase which was from H&M Ikea thrifted thrifted dollar store thrifted dollar store unsure if I'm gonna paint this either because it's really nice uh, thrift no dollar store store this is the thrifted one that is really really ugly but I think it's gonna like look really good and really on trend with like the hole and everything like it'll look like H&M stuff and then I also have this little teapot because I don't want to use it I just wanted a little teapot piece of decor for my kitchen shelf so I figured if I painted it a nice beige neutral color and just had it on display in my kitchen it would be really really cute plus it's tiny um the other pots were like really big and I didn't think they would fit on my shelf so that's what I've got to start with. I think I'm going to pop them all up and like take photos like before photos so that they'll be good before and after photos of everything. I'm going to use this little uh, pedestal thing here to, no wait, it's the pillar. Pedestal pillar? Uh, yeah, let's call it a pedestal. Pedestal? Pillar? It's also called a plinth. A plinth? Okay, there we go. It's a plinth. <laughs> I'm going to use this thing to uh, put all of my products on, all my products. I'm not shooting products, well, it's kind of products. I'm shooting vases. I'm going to put all of them up here and then take before photos because I think this would just be a good spot to take before photos. just put together a little cheese and fruit platter and I should say Liz you did most of it to be honest <laughs> you cut up all the fruit and everything but it looks so good and then also down here on the ground we have a tarp laid out and all of the supplies so we can uh, you know avoid getting mess on the floor okay we're about to get in and do our little projects Liz is working on a tiled project first which is really cool and Brennan what are you doing again like a petrified cloud textured wall art painting thingy awesome that's yeah. gonna be good uh, but yeah so we each have like a little corner of the mat to work on or top whatever uh, and I'm gonna use this pot and the Ikea thing first and this beige color one coat on one of the little pots and then another coat on the Ikea vase. It's definitely going to need a few coats but it's working and then Liz has already started doing her tiling which is so cool. This will be like a board for product flat lays and shoots and things and then Bronwyn's working on her cloud thing um, or ocean. What are we doing? Ocean or cloud? Ocean. Ocean. Waves. 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 Yeah. Working on the waves. It's all happening. My only thing now is I don't really know what color I want to do all the different vases. What I should try next, like if I should maybe do like a slightly terracotta one, I don't know. Vases, teapot, jug, jars, whatever. I've done 10 and now I just have to do multiple coats of each of them. And this is Hannah's like little artwork. Run ones is basically just drying and then uh, Liz is doing some of the jar painting as well and it's really nice terracotta color. And yeah, it's 
só caminhando na hora assim. So we're just in the process of packing up. I didn't even get to do any of my canvas art. You guys did and it looks amazing, but I ran out of time. I spent the entire time painting all of the pots and I still didn't even get enough coats on all of them. So yeah, anyways, let's pack up. <laughs> later and I actually picked up some more paint from Michaels today so I'm going to do another coat on this one the other black one and a couple of the other ones and then I'll have to show you how I've styled them up in my home so when it comes to this DIY uh, I don't measure anything like I have no idea what I'm doing I just get a bit of paint I get a bit of like baking powder that's probably too much if you use too much it's really thick you kind of want it to still be like a little bit runny but it comes together and goes like super puffy if that's too much i'll just add some more paint but yeah it goes really puffy and then it gives you that kind of like pottery texture which is really awesome i'm sorry if it's out of focus or not really in frame i'm trying very hard here now that's a good amount see how it's still runny like it's still paint consistency but it's starting to pop up which is great happened to squeeze out the perfect amount of paint to do both of these these are the only two that I did in black this is a little jar from the dollar store and then this is a really ugly thrifted find that I think looks amazing in black so one of the key techniques is to brush horizontally and then that way you get that kind of look of almost like spun pottery so yeah make sure you do horizontal brush brush strokes but oh my gosh I think they look great I don't think I'm gonna need to do a fourth coat the reason I'm doing black again now is because the black that I got from the dollar store was terrible it was just so see-through and every time I put on a new coat it was taking the paint from below off and it just wasn't working but one coat of the uh, the better ones from Michaels so I got all the other ones of this brand from Michaels but yeah one coat of this one seems to have you know fixed the problem covered any of the um, space and it's it's looking pretty good it's probably time to share with you the final result of the pieces so I ended up styling up my shelves here I'm not sure if I love it or the coloring or whatever but I think for now it's really totally fine so this here is one of the terracotta ones originally it was clear glass and I think this turned out really nice in the same color I did this plant pot up here this was one of the yellow ones I have the little teapot here next to that is actually a candle holder from H&M so you can kind of see how you know this DIY has made these items a little more on trend up the very top here I've got the Ikea one and then over here I actually did end up doing the H&M turquoise blue one in black and I love it so glad I did that and then also down here I painted this one in black it was kind of a darker gray but it's just a pot from Ikea and I decided to paint that one black as well I also decided to paint the one bigger pot that kind of came out almost a purple color because of the undertones of the brown when I mixed it with white uh, black as well because I just really like the look of the black so I did that and I think that's looking really really nice and I put that sort of in this area just here on my kitchen bench with one of the books that I thrifted and I think it's just really really nice over here I have the vase that I repainted it's a little more yellow toned because of the beige that I mixed with white but it has no black marks on it anymore it's nice and clean and I really like how that one turned out too 
In my bedroom, which is quite possibly my favorite, is the really ugly black, red, and green vase that I've painted black in. I think it just looks amazing, so I'm super happy how this one turned out. Over here on my desk, I've got another one of the yellow pots with one of my plants in it, and I think this turned out really nice as well. And then up here in these shelves that I still need to style properly, I have the little black one, and then also the bigger really cream beige one. This actually does need another coat, like you can see here that it's not quite covered, but it's on my to-do list. I'll eventually get around to it. But yeah, that's basically uh, the end of my DIY and the few new pieces of home decor that I have created.